What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Ranking of Kings, episodes 19 and 20. The first one is called The Last Bastion. Very excited. Remember, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down below, like always, for you guys. You guys can also watch it live with me over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Great community, great vibes. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel, and follow all the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, you guys. Let's hop into this. Ranking of Kings, episode 19 first. This one's called, like I said, The Last Bastion. As we cut to present Kage, who just ate Ukin, who... Well, why is that? I'm assuming Ukin can break out of there, and we know that Kage is not like... Uh, he could die. Kage can most definitely die. Homa has taken... What? Is this one of the gods as the Gyu... What were the name? The Gyutaken? Was like, betraying them? Yes. They said the Homa took everything from us. Is this why in our current times you don't see the gods down on earth enslaving? Really? Interesting. Yeah, what is Bosse's reaction to what happened with Miranjo's mom and Miranjo? That's so fucking horrible. Did they actually do what they said they did to Miranjo? Like, cut her hands off, like, tore skin her face? And they chained her to a post. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel my man Bosse. We'll say. I can't lie, I would have exacted some vengeance too. I might have squeezed a couple of heads. I can't blame him. He killed all of them. And he wanted to perp Mirangel out of her misery because he knows she's suffering. Oh my god. Look at the trail of blood. <laughs> Are these the bodies? Yeah, he dragged the bodies. Let's take whatever bodies we can and fix her. Okay. I could see a personal investment into wanting to see that. I could see that. Okay. He's telling Bose straight up as well. Oh my, this man Ulkin is literally unbeatable. Meanwhile, <laughs> Desp was stabbed. The captain is stabbed. Kage is on this. But he does miss vital areas on purpose to watch his 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 his. Damn, he really just shanked Boji. So she was the one, I don't know if I confirmed that myself a couple of episodes, she conf controlled the rat to bring them to APS. She's also controlling the red haired dude right now. For what reason though? Why? She's healing Kage. And Boji? And he can see her memories in this healing process. Okay, Despa. The devil. Wait, did, so did she first meet the devil when she was a kid? I saw something red. And now they're back. What the hell is going on? Were we brought into a flashback, Despa and Boji, to see Kage and his mother? Because Kage's mom was one of the real ones of this show. Is that what this is? This is like that place in Naruto where Kakashi's dad was? Oh, wow. I love the symbolism. A lot of running water and river, there's a lot of symbolism in that with like life and death and crossing over it is like, wow. I like that. I like how Despa really is trying to. He really does care. Come on. Okay. The anchor is pulling you back. What is it? Miranjo. 
に未練はないのか。人生、未練。かげちゃん。あ、ぼっち。Oh, he remembers。母ちゃん。俺、ぼっちを助けたい。母ちゃん。I'll see you soon. So, what do you do? Ginky, you have to do it. Then I'll see you. I'm not going to see you. I'm not going to see you. As long as he confirms you're, you're good, he just checked in on moms. Shouts out, Boji. Shouts out, Kage. Shouts out, Mama Kage. He's letting her know he's going to live a long, a long life. I guess I have to give an honorary shout out to Miranjo as well. Kake literally would be dead if it weren't for her. Aww. That's so sad. This show uh, really makes moms uh, get some spotlight. You know, Hilling, Boji's mom, Kage's mom. Moms are the true gifts of the world. We must protect them. <laughs> yeah, technically you got me killed, but you also saved me. Well, I'm not gonna think too deep into it, thank you. That's a good point. I never thought about that, especially getting Mirando's backstory that we just got from Bose and her, him just wanting her to smile. I think Boji and Kage have the best chance of doing that in anyone, besides Bose, obviously. I mean, look what they've already brought out of her, you know? She gained the parts of her that were missing. Now we actually have baby Miranjo here. Oh, That's sweet. And now, is she actually gonna have a physical form? I'm sure I must be safe. Oh, just like Kage's mom, Miranjo's mom, and Boji's mom. Wow. He's gonna get, put his life on the line to defend this. Good dodge, but good attack, man. I love this snake. I don't. Know. This disgusting fuck. This animation is actually insane, though. Bevin, please. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. We have finally the reunion. All the big four are here against Uken. Please stop this man. That's the one thing though. A lot of people who fight Domas tend to underestimate him, especially his strength. That's so broken. That animation is so good. The Shira Senpei, right? Whatever it's called. Ooh, Bevin coming in to save the day. Thank you, sir. So clean. Ooh, ooh, okay. I love 360 camera shots when I do fighting like this. One character versus many. There literally would have killed Ukin so many times. He wasn't just OP. Oh, I love this camera work. Let's just rip his limbs off and then put them down in cement seven million feet below the earth. I don't know. That's so stupid. Which I don't like how they're setting this up. That a tight spot is his greatest opportunity when he's in a tight spot right now. Sword King of the Underworld. Look at him. He just. Who is strong enough to defeat this thing? Oh my god! How quickly now he's able to incapacitate there are Why does he have like a sn he's like wiggling his sword around? 
The last Bastion title of this episode, they literally are. Without them, this all goes to shit. That's the end of the episode. Okay. Thank the Lord I'm doing one more. Thank the actual Lord. Alright, this episode's got me a little excited. This one is episode 20, Immortal versus Invincible. Let's do this. So we're back at the river with Miranjo, her mom, and Boji's mom. And Boji and Despa are still there. Boji gets to see his mom for the first time since he can even process memories, you know. My god, look how big she is. Yeah, and then to go from how nice and caring and how awesome she is to seeing that, you know? Horribly sad. Yes, it is. Yes, she is. Sheena? I don't know her name was Sheena. How dare you kill me? She wants the smoke. She wants her beef back. Her mom was like, I only trained, I only raised you to be a kind, compassionate person. I shall move your soul into the mirror. However, when you actually do die i shall devour your soul so she can't go to like heaven this is twice you have betrayed me what does that mean <laughs> boji shocked hate the sin but not the sinner i respect that He's a good mom. Not even you could kill him. Oh. oh, sad. A mother and daughter. Fundamentally disagreeing, you know. Oh my god, Miranjo was so powerful though. That's crazy to think about. Can you? And now Boji knows her whole story as well. And you know Boji, if anyone's gonna understand and get perspective from it, he's crying, that's how it immediately feels bad for her, you know? Yeah, but if anyone's gonna understand, it's gonna be Boji. Now that might be fact. She is very far gone. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have, like, our guys on the brink of death, cutting off entire limbs. That's so... What do you do? He stabbed you through himself. Of course he did. When I broke my promise to the demon, so she knew the demon from a very young age. Well, she did that. Oh my god, look at this shot. It's time to really have an introspective moment and take a peek at that. Is that truthfully what you want? To bring all this sadness and horrible death all around, you know? <laughs> he realizes he's been used the entire time, manipulated. Very frustrating. All the time. Right? You were someone he looked up to. He idolized. Yeah, Balsay, can you go kill Uken, please? Oh, Despa's still stabbed. Yeah, I was praying, but... Kage was the only one that got healed from Miranjo. We were just, like, encumbrance and, you know... No, okay, so he did do it on himself, but don't try to refight, Captain. 
And now he sees Kage as well. Oh no. And Boji. Oh my god, bro. This man is gut. You got stabbed in his leg. Stabbed in his gut. Bo Bose. Please be Bose. Yes. Thank the Lord. The immortal versus the invincible. Why? Why again, may I ask? I don't know. De Bose could heal? I mean, he did hang with the Homans. I, I don't even know if that's the plural of them. For a very long time. With no potions. Oh, he didn't learn it from the Homa. He learned it from uh, healing, which also makes a lot of sense. So Boji's back to being normal, typical good Boji, which makes me ecstatic. But we still have Ukin here. Am I am I incorrect on that? He is fast as shit. <laughs> the three best friends that anyone could have. He's like, all right, now we're healed up just like you. Now let's go. But I died as I said, died. A Bose still wants to handle him. So this is still not Bose at his peak. Less than half. Remember this. Less than half. Right? I think the amount of work and labor she must go through to to heal all the time. Right for his wrist to lower his not being able. And instead of. <laughs> he literally cannot stab him. He has like iron skin. That's scary. He can hit you so hard, he liquefies your body. What stops? How? He literally turned you into a puddle. And he's not even using half his strength. This is less than half. What? How? What? Was he trying to find a boulder underground? Like an un... A, a solid intact one? That works? Yep, let me beat you down to a puddle again. Grab your armor pieces. I'll crush you into a ball. And then I'm going to keep you in the center of this very tight, compact boulder. So you should not be able to regrow form. You are literally confined. I know, all you hear is Ukin's like raspy screaming now. It's horrible. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, if your pops wins, we just kill your pops and then we win. But now he sees how strong his dad actually is. And now we're ending it here, but are we going against dad? What's the actual plan, Stan? <laughs> this what? Talk about a couple of episodes. I thoroughly enjoyed the crossing the river life and death symbolism that was um, Sheena, uh, Boji's mom. We had Kage's mom, and then we had Miranjo's mom as well. I really enjoyed all that symbolism and we got a little bit more of the story on Miranjo and how she betrayed this demon twice or devil twice and I need to know more details about that specifically but 
I completely understand Bolse and his revenge against the Gyakuza for what they did to Miranjo and her mom. Uh, especially, it was crazy seeing a glimpse of that god too and them actually groveling to that guy. It was, this is all sort of crazy. And then just seeing Uken, absolutely, I, that fight with Uken in the big four, one of my favorite fights in the show. Absolutely insane. It was great seeing teamwork, but just all of them show how strong they are. Like, if Uken's a strong fighter in and of himself, but if he wasn't immortal, they would have destroyed him. Bebin alone coming in and cutting him in half, you know? But it's like, we needed Bolse. Bolse came in, is dealing with him in a somewhat satisfactory way, satisfactory way. I mean, he can't even come up with a great idea to kill him. He's like, hmm, this is interesting thought. I, you know, but now we have to deal with Bolse. And we have three episodes left. What is the finale of the show going to be? Is there going to be a season two? I have no idea, but I'm so curious. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access full length. Check out that Twitch for uncut and watching it live with me. Everything you need is in the description down below. Don't forget to follow the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.